Hello, hello today. Let's make a putty repair. First step. It is important that the base surface is properly treated prior to each repair. Generally, the pre repair site must be cleaned, dry, grease-free and partially grounded. And there it is. Let's have a um, grease-free area because then sanding is done before and we are using some um, brake fluid extract uh, remover for this. And now let's have a dosing the hardener. The hardener supplied is usually sufficient for the filler can content. Often, however, less filler is needed. In this case, use only a much filler and or resign from the can as is required for the repair because as soon as the components have been mixed throughout, the mixed material must be used up swiftly. As a rule, one until four person can be added. The optimum mixture is 2.5 person. Two lines have been worked into the plastic cap of the product. And there is a dosing aid, which is indicated the required amount of hardener for 100 grams of resin. So let's dip these two parts together. Now use the spatula to extract the red hardener from the indentation and add it to the filler. The hardener needs to be properly blended into the ensure that the filler mass hardener completely. When no color streaks remain on the filler, the mass has been properly mixed throughout. This is the case after about 20 seconds of hard mixing job. Okay, that's a good job as you can see. Now apply the mixed materials to the repair site. Please use a customary spatula blade for this. The optimum ambient temperature is 20 degrees Celsius with 50% humidity. No filler work should be carried out at temperature below 10 until 12 degrees Celsius. After approximately 20 until 30 minutes of drying time, you may start to grind and or carry out the next processing steps. The next processing steps should be another layer and another top layer, but in this case the rims are contains only a little scratches and dips, so it will need one layer of the putty on top. As you can see, we are using a spatula for this and we are mixing so much and grinding them and um, we are going to fill it, the scratches, fill up with um, the putty and this is easy to make as you can see. It is a good job and now it has to be dry out for about an half hour. And then we go to the next step again. Take care, do not dip too much putty on top because you have to grind it all day long after this action. So do this in a flat and um, nice surface and it should be cover all the damaged parts and this is enough. And you have to be fast because of the drying time. The drying time is only 20 minutes until 30, 30 minutes. This is really fast. So take care and pr be prepared to use the putty repair. Nice and easy. Good job. So at the same time, and the putty is drying out. That means it is after filling. The filler mass remains which are blended with the hardener must be never be returned to the can. After filling, please immediately clean any of the tools you have used before and use cellulose thinner to do this or break cleaner fluid. Easy going. Now we can store this Put it again 
for the next time. After 30 minutes, you can start to check the edges and you can see it is hot enough to work on it. So let's start. We are going to use 800 sandpaper for this and it is a wet sandpaper and then we are going to grind or sand the area flat again because the putty has a little mountains little um, little not so flat areas so this is um, important to get a little bit of sand um, to make a top surface for the next steps that means there has to be a um, a primer on top after this put the um, basic coat and after this you have to apply um, the other cord like um, like a clear coat on finish thanks for watching please subscribe and give a positive feedback and see you next time again soon soon